Yes, yeah, but she can. Thank you. How how many of you? Thirteen. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Backpack is being going inside. No, not today. Oh, not today. There's two of us. You have to die. We are coming. It's okay. It's okay. Many people are coming. Many, many people. We are the first. Many people come. What, what day? Tomorrow. No, 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 what day is it? No, okay. oh, so, uh, <laughs> Monday. Monday. Okay, but one week and Monday. You have been here <laughs> ten days. Ten days. You are very strong. Very strong. Uh, go up. Okay, go back. We come. We come. You will be hungry. No. I know, I know, I understand. We, we come. Okay, we come. I am really happy. We, we are happy too. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, where you come from? England, UK. ด่าตอบพระคุณทุกคนครับBoys don't know how to swim. Crews are working frantically to pump out water from inside the cave system where 12 boys and their 25-year-old soccer coach are trapped. With monsoon rains in the forecast this weekend, floodwaters are expected to once again rise. But that's not the only concern. Authorities say oxygen levels inside the cave are dropping, and they are rushing to install a three-mile-long oxygen tube. We originally thought the boys could stay safe inside the cave for quite some time, this Thai SEAL commander said. But circumstances have changed. We have a limited amount of time. From the cave entrance to an area known as Chamber 3, the water is now down to around knee-high level. But the space between Chamber 3 and the boys is still completely flooded. The only way through it includes a nearly 100-foot underwater dive. That is close to where the former Navy SEAL diver died on Thursday. Thai authorities say he was on his way back from delivering air tanks to the group when he passed out underwater. He was pulled out unconscious and unable to be revived. Authorities are trying to get the floodwaters to a level where the boys would not have to dive and could swim out with life jackets on and their heads above water. 